What is happening, everyone? So I'm going to hurry and show you how to set up the SNES 9X emulator. It's a great emulator to be able to play Super Nintendo games and Super Famicom games. And it's really simple to set up. So let's get started. First of all, we need to find out whether we are running a 64-bit PC operating system or not. So I'm on Windows 10. I'm going to click here, go to settings, system, and then down to about. And you can see here we're I'm running a 64-bit version of the operating system. We need to know whether it's a 32-bit or a 64-bit because there's two different versions of the emulator. You can also go down to the control panel and click on system and then right here you'll see system type and it'll tell you what you're, what, which operating system you're using. With that done, we're going to go to the website snes9x.com. This is an open source emulator or freeware. It's freeware. I'm not sure how open source or exactly what it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Anyhow, go to there and then up on the top here, we want to click on downloads. Now there's different sites here that you can click on in order to download a version of this. I'm going to click on this bottom one here. I've already messed around with this sites.google.com forward slash site, whatever. Click it. You kind of come to this window. It looks a little confusing maybe at first. There's different versions and you're just like, well, which one do I want? Well, what we want is the Windows version. The 64-bit is what I want. If you have a 32-bit version, you're going to download this one. You'll notice down at the bottom there's two other Windows versions. The version number 1.54. We're, we're downloading 1.54.1. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the 64-bit version. I'm going to click download here. I've already done that. My downloads are set to be saved to the desktop. Yours might be in your downloads folder. They may go to the desktop. Who knows where you put it. So I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to have this zip file here. And what we're going to do is unzip this file. I use a program called 7-Zip. I'm going to right click on it, go to 7-Zip. You could probably use Windows built-in extract all. Let's see what happens. So you can see it would do it. It would set the destination. It would do it here. Let's click extract. Okay, so you could use that or you could use 7-Zip. Doesn't matter. Either way, you can see that it's created this folder on my desktop. This is where I'm going to do everything on the desktop to keep it simple. You could put this folder in your documents, my documents, or wherever, but we're just doing it right here on the desktop. If you want to rename it, go ahead. I'm not going to worry about it. Now, if you open it up, we can see inside this folder is the emulator. Before we get started, we need our games slash ROMs. You'll have to find those yourself. If you're watching this on the internet, you can probably use your internet skills to go ahead and find the ROMs for the NES emulator. What I did is I grabbed 20 ROMs and uh, the games that are supposed to be coming out with the SNES Classic Edition. So what I did is I went to Super, uh, Nintendo's website and I looked at the list of the games that are going to be on the SNES Classic and I went ahead and put them in this folder here. So here's all of the ROMs that I have. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this folder inside the SNES Classic folder that I unzipped so that my games are in here with the emulator. It just keeps it simple and concise. All right. Now what we want to do is we want to open up the emulator. Before we open up the emulator, go ahead and get your controller and we want to turn the controller on first so that when the emulator opens up, it'll detect it and we won't have any issues. So I'm using an Xbox One controller. 
you can use whatever controller it is that you're using. I find that the Xbox controllers work well. So again, I've got the Xbox Elite controller actually that I'm using. So it is turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the emulator. Now, before we start running any games, we want to configure two things I'm going to show you. We're going to configure the controller, and we're also going to configure the path to where the games are here so that when we come in here and go file load game right now if we click it it doesn't show us the games because it's not pointing toward to where the games are and we want to just set that up so that it always opens up to it so I don't have to always browse you could open up load game and browse but I don't want to do that all the time so let's configure the path to the games first so we could we click on emulation and down here click on settings and you can see right here it says ROMs directory we want to put the path where our games are which is here in there so the way we can do it is we can browse my folder is on the desktop I can scroll down to the SNES folder click it it would normally be like this click it and then here is the games classic games and I can click that and then I say OK. Now these ROMs here, this ROM folder, you could actually put those ROMs into there. That would be fine too. In fact, I think if I, if you were to put the games in there, then um, you wouldn't have to change that path. So. I didn't realize that. So when we fired up the NES emulator for the first time, it created a folder called ROMs, and then it expected you to put your games in there. What we did was we just went ahead and dragged the games into the folder in the first place. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. At least we learned how to um, configure the directory, because you may want to put your games in some other folder and point it to it. So hopefully that's not too confusing. Click OK. All right, so now we can configure our controller. So let's go ahead and click Input. And then click Input Configuration. Now what we want to do is we have controller 1 already set up, whatever. We don't have to do anything there. But just click on this, the first one where it says Up. Click in there. You'll notice it's highlighted. Now all you have to do is push the up button on your controller. I'm going to use the D-pad, push the up, and it automatically moves down to the next position for you. You don't have to mouse down to it. So I'm going to click left, down, I'm clicking right on my D-pad, <clears throat> and then you can see the little image over to the right where it shows you the image of the super, uh, the the controller, the SNES controller. So the B button corresponds to my A button on the controller. So I'm going to push that. The A button on that image corresponds to my B button on the controller. The Y button on that image, you can see, corresponds to the X on my Xbox controller. And the X corresponds to the Y. The start, I'm going to push the hamburger menu or start button for old school people. And then the select, push that. Now the L and the R bumpers, you can't use the triggers. The triggers on, at least on the Xbox controller, are analog. So I can't use those. I have to use the bumpers. So I'm going to push the left bumper and the right bumper. The rest of this stuff, I'm just going to leave it as it is. We're not going to do anything with it. We're going to click OK. Now we can come up to File, Load Game. It opens up right to our directory because we pointed it there. And we're going to go ahead and choose, uh, we're just going to choose Donkey Kong Country. I think I have the volume turned down just so I don't get some hit from Nintendo or something. And I'm going to push start. Push start again. We can go in here and go to video and 
window size. I'm going to make it four times bigger. There we go. Drag it up here. Okay. And then we're going to select there one player. You know, come on. There we go. So I'm jumping with my A button on my controller and doing a roll with the X button on my controller. That, there you have it. Not too bad. Let's pause and exit out of this. I'll just pause it there. Anyhow, so there you go. That's how you can set up the SNES 9X emulator. This is for version 1.54.1. You may have a version different than this, but it's pretty much the same thing. And hopefully that's easy, easy enough to follow along. I hope you liked the video. I really appreciate you watching it. Thank you. And um, if you liked it, give a like and subscribe. Um, if there's anything you want to know differently, possibly that I didn't mention, uh, you know, put a comment down below. Or if you use this emulator and you have a couple other tips or tricks as far as using it, um, write, you know, comment on that. Or do you use a different emulator for your SNES games? I know there's a couple others out there. So let me know which one you prefer and why. Um, I think that's about all I got to say about that. So again, thank you for watching and smell y'all later.